All right, Andrew. I was always challenging Andrew. I'm the, I'm the neighbor. And um, I challenged him uh, the last few years of his life, and now he has to be following this act. Dr. Collins, that was incredible. So I'm going to get you back, Andrew. I'm coming to heaven someday. So I am the neighbor, but I'm not great with names. And how lucky was I when I moved to Franklin Street and my neighbors were, were Bruce Lee, Sarah Lee, and Tommy Lee. <laughs> Can't forget. And then the last was Andrew, which we'll never forget. I was honored that Andrew wanted me to speak at his celebration. But when I sat down to write this, I was afraid I couldn't do him justice. How could I possibly convey in a five-minute speech the impact of Andrew's life? A life cut short, yet lived so fully for 23 years. But then it hit me. How would Andrew handle this? Head on, with grace, with his whole heart and all his effort. Unlike many of you, I never knew Andrew healthy. We moved next door to the Lees during Andrew's freshman year at New Hampshire. The only thing I knew about the Lee family is that Sarah made a great coffee cake. <laughs> and Bruce was legit with the snowblower. <laughs> In May 2015, Bruce told me that Andrew had HLRCC and he had six months to live. I knew life on Franklin Street would never be the same. Andrew and I became fast friends, not because I'm this great guy, but because I let him park his GTR in my garage. <laughs> How many in here rode the GTR? Oh, that's awesome, It's awesome. My first ride was short, but extremely fast. He opened the engine on Cedar Lane, Cedar Lane. I was too scared to go on the highway. I grabbed the door handle, my heart was pounding. I looked over at Andrew and he had this smile on his face. Showed that he loved speed and he loved this car. And then he almost made his neighbor pee his pants. The thing I loved about Andrew was when he was diagnosed with HLRCC, Instead of thinking, woe is me, he chose to make a difference. With the help of Bruce, Sarah, Tommy, and Haley, they found a driven to cure. Andrew's white GTR turned into a beautiful orange hot rod, because orange being the color of kidney cancer. At first, the car was the face and voice of driven to cure. Then I asked Andrew to drive me out onto the court in, in the GTR for our annual Maryland Madness event a few years back. I spoke to the crowd about Driven to Cure and what it means. Then I asked Andrew to wave to the crowd. Bruce later told me that that was when Andrew realized he needed to be the face and the voice of Driven to Cure. He became that face and also became a tremendous speaker as he continued to raise money until the very end, raising over a half million dollars for cancer research. My relationship with Andrew was a series of, event, of events mostly raising money or bringing awareness to this terrible disease. Our conversations in the driveway and many text messages. Being a, being a coach, my text messages were either encouraging him as he battled chemo or thanking him for being such a great role model and inspiration to so many people. And finally, I would challenge him to keep fighting and make a difference in research for HLRCC. And you know Andrew never backed down from a challenge. He took on seven different trials to prolong his life and help find a cure for this dreaded disease. If not his own, he helped, helped save someone else's life down the road. Fight is the core of every coach's existence. We live it, we instill it in our players, and we strive for it daily. Andrew's determination, his passion, his commitment has brought a new meaning to the word fight for me. Andrew is one of the toughest guys I've ever known. If you were here today, you were lucky enough to have known Andrew, to have been touched by Andrew. That's what he did. He touched life, lives from his buddies who he grew up with, the doctors and nurses, his family, his Georgetown prep brothers, his New Hampshire classmates, especially Haley, 
and everyone who dreamed up Driven to Cure to his neighbor. He connected with you. That's what life was all about, and Andrew did, every, he did that every day of his life. Driven to Cure will forever carry on his fight to find a cure. I challenge you to carry on his legacy by connecting with anyone and everyone you meet. Make Andrew proud the way he made us proud. Inspire others the way Andrew inspired us. Bruce and Sarah, death has been knocking on your door for the last four years. You handled it with grace and determination. I've admired the way you let Andrew live his last years exactly the way he wanted to live them. You raised an incredible son. You should be so proud. Finally, Andrew, I'm going to get you back for this. I will always be proud to call you my friend and be forever grateful for how you handled the fight.